The NIH Manuscript Submission System allows authors and principal investigators to submit manuscripts for archiving in PubMed Central. The submission process begins with logging into the NIHMS system, which has multiple login routes. Guidance on logging in is available in the Help menus, FAQ, and Tutorials. Once you log into the system, you land on the My Manuscripts page, which contains a list of submissions with which you are associated, grouped by the categories on the left. Needs your attention means that these manuscripts are awaiting your action. In process, list manuscripts awaiting action by NIHMS staff or another party. Available to claim, list manuscripts where you are a submitter, PI, or verified author, and have been waiting for reviewer attention for four weeks or longer. Awaiting citation data, list manuscripts that have undergone final approval, but processing is incomplete because final citations are needed. Manuscripts under embargo have completed the submission process, but the embargoes have not yet expired, prohibiting them from being made available in PubMed Central. Finally, Available in PMC is exactly what it says. The submission is complete and available. You can view and edit your account settings by clicking on your username. Also, notice the page-specific help link next to My Manuscripts. Additional help links are located throughout the NIHMS system. To begin a new submission, click the Submit New Manuscript button. On your first time through the submission wizard, a walkthrough will appear to guide you through each step of the process. You will first be asked to input the manuscript and journal titles via one of four methods. You can search PubMed for the manuscript's corresponding PubMed record and import the title information from there. Note that you can use the same search terms that you would use on PubMed's website. Use the DOI button to search for the title and import it from Crossref. And if the citation is already in My Bibliography and you are logged in through the associated account, use the My Bibliography button. These three methods will fill in the fields on the right so that you can confirm the titles before proceeding. The fourth option is to enter the information manually. Note that the journal title field will auto-suggest as you type. In the next step, you will associate funding support. This section is required only if you are an author or PI serving as the reviewer for the submission. If not, the reviewer can associate funding later when approving the submission for processing. If you have funding already associated with your account, for example, you are the PI of an award, you can use the My Funding button to select from those awards without having to run a search. Otherwise, click the Search Funding button to search the awardee's name and or award number. Be sure to check the box next to the added award before searching for the next award. Then click the add button to link the selected award to your submission. The next step is to upload files. All files associated with the accepted manuscript are required, including all parts referenced or called out in the text. This includes the title page with author and affiliation information, the main text of the manuscript, references, figures, tables, videos, appendices, and supplementary material. To upload a file, either drag and drop from your computer or click on the Browse Your Computer link. Be sure to include a unique and descriptive label for each figure, table, video, or supplemental file in the area below the thumbnail. You can add additional files as needed and even rearrange them by dragging them around to different file type sections. When finished, click the checkbox certifying that you have included all required files, then proceed to the next section. In the Reviewer and Release Delay section, you either assign the submission to an author or PI for review, in which case he or she will receive detailed instructions via email, or if you are the author or PI and wish to approve the submission yourself, Set the embargo and click the Next button. When approving the submission yourself, you will also be asked to read and accept the submission statement, a legal document that confirms that you have the necessary authorization to provide the files that you submitted for public access, 
and that your submission does not otherwise violate any agreements you have made with the publisher. If, after reviewing the submission statement, you need to adjust the submission in any way, use the Return to Submission button and go to the appropriate section to make the changes. Upon agreeing to the submission statement, you will see a summary of the submission and a graphic illustration of where you are in the process and what is to come. If you are the reviewer of your own submission, the next step is NIHMS conversion, where the manuscript undergoes internal review and formatting for PubMed Central. When conversion is complete, you will receive an email notification. And the next steps are the focus of the video NIH Manuscript Submission Review and Final Approval, which is linked at the end of this video. Just a reminder, we have tutorials linked in the help menu for each step in the process. And you can also get help by writing to nihms-help at ncbi.nlm.nih.gov.